What's up guys, Matty here at MixAndMasterMySong.com. Today we're going to be going over the new plugin from Acoustic Audio called Ultimarine 4. And basically what it is, is a Fairchild everything. It's got a Fairchild 670 compressor. Uh, it's got the Fairchild 627 tube EQ, the Fairchild 658 reverb, and also another uh, parametric EQ, which I'm not sure what it's modeled after, but that's included as well. So like anything with Acoustica, they always give you everything and more. So before we get started looking at it, please make sure to like and subscribe to get all my videos as soon as they come out. Let's go. All right, guys, because I am an audio history buff, I want to show you the original units and then show you the plugins. And then we'll go over the plugins and do some examples. So this is the Fairchild 670 sought after compressor. If you've been in the audio world or mixing world for more than 10 minutes, you'll you'll have heard of this. Uh, and here's the acoustic version. Um, really quick, we'll just run through the settings on the compressor. So you have, uh, this is your meters, gain reduction in and out, input trim, your threshold, and this is your attack and release. If, if you never use a Fairchild, um, the attack and release are connected. And if you look in the menu, you can see the exact numbers. I think it's a two millisecond attack and a three millisecond release. It's not a very fast compressor, but definitely has a sweet sound. Um, also on this, you have a side chain filter, uh, the SH, SH mod or SHMOD, whatever they call it, um, which is different variations of the, um, the, the threshold or the, the attack that Acoustica adds in there for you. Um, and, and then you have uh, wet and dry in the pre and then your output gain. Um, if you've noticed, this is a stereo compressor, same as the original. So if you're just using it on a mono track, which we'll, we'll go over, um, it'll just use this channel here. So that's why these are duplicated. And that's cool because you can either click here to link them both or you can use them separately, which, which is great. I use a Fairchild's on strings and stuff like that sometimes or things with a stereo image. So it's just, if it's just touching the left or the right channel, um, if the right channel's getting a little louder, it can pull it down a bit. Uh, so really cool to have that. Um, so the next thing they got is the uh, what do they call it? The Fairchild 627 compressor, uh, sorry, 627 EQ. So this is a tube EQ. Um, it was actually, there's supposedly only five of these made in the world, which is crazy. And this was used mostly uh, for cutting records and stuff, uh, EQ. Um, and that is here, and we will go over this too. There's the compressor. Here's the EQ, looks just the same. So you got uh, boosts, uh, high boost, high mid boost. So you switch these and you see the frequency changes. All boosts here. Same here, low, you get your low and then your low mid when you lit, light this up, you see the frequency changes there. Um, and then a low roll off and a high roll off input and output plus the pre. So pretty straightforward EQ there. Um, the next one is this American EQ, they call it. And it's just a parametric EQ. Um, it's got three different bands here. Uh, and then lastly, which is kind of cool, I didn't even know this before they released this plugin, Fairchild had a reverb. It's a spring reverb, um, and you can see it right here, Fairchild Model 658 Reverberation. And so that's pretty cool, and they included that as well. Um, and this is the reverb here. So you got drive if you want to add some more harmonic distortion or just a little more harmonics to it. Pre-delay, like any reverb, you know, it's the, the delay before the reverb hits. Early, late reflections. This is the reverb time. This is like five seconds, I think 1.5 and five seconds, if I remember correctly. Uh, reverb mix, level balance. So this is the output of the reverb if you need a little more level. Uh, if you're using a stereo pit, you can select here. Higher quality, which takes up more CPU. Uh, and then the spread, which we'll get to this. I still... I'm thinking maybe this isn't quite worked out yet with Acoustica, but we'll check it out because when you go to uh, S, which should be wider, it just kind of disappears. And maybe I'm using it wrong, but I had some trouble getting this to kind of work right. Um, at any rate, let's go to where the real magic is in the compressor. And this thing sounds great. And just because I've never owned a Fairchild, I needed to compare something. So what I got here is the UAD Fairchild. Um, so we can, you know, just hear the difference between, you know, this and something else. The song we're using today is called Blue Hoodie Memories by Emily Modal. 
and uh, I just finished her EP and um, it's out on Spotify so it's really really good make sure to check it out I'll put it in the links below um, so we're just gonna solo the lead vocal here and this is the, um, the Acoustic Affair Child and I got the settings somewhat matched between the two of these um, as you notice we're gonna go to drums on this and you'll notice that the settings are pretty far off as far as being the same so you know did it mostly just by ear and a little bit using the meter so bear with me um, but here's the 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 fair child uh, by acoustica you're too imperfect to explain you got me tied up in your games and so what i'm gonna do is i'll crank it up a bit too just so you can really hear it working you're too imperfect to explain you got me tied up in your games Feels like a love and hate relation, same situation as before. I never learned from my mistakes, never knowing I should walk out the door. You're too imperfect to explain. You got me tied up in your game. So it sounds really, really good. Beautiful sound to it. Um, let me just play you the. I, I probably lost my settings I had here, but let me. Go back and forth with the UADs, just so you can kind of get hear the difference. You're too imperfect to explain. We'll loop this part here too. You're too imperfect. All right, so UAD first. You're too imperfect to explain. You got me tied up in your games. 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 So they sound pretty close, actually, although I, I, I keep kind of preferring, and this is a kind of a different gain stage than I'd, I'd done uh, earlier, but um, this one just sounds a little bit fuller, a little bit sweeter is kind of the words that come to mind. Um, but they both sound great. But th this one does this sound a little bit more, I guess 3D would be a good term or maybe an overused term, who knows. But, uh, but yeah, they both sound great. I like this one. Um, I kind of almost prefer it over the UAD version, uh, just for this example at least. Um, so let's move on to the EQ. And what we'll do is we'll just delete this UAD for now. Um, so there's the compressor. And then here is the EQ. And this thing sounds really, really nice. Let me turn it on and off. I, I just have a basic setting here just so you can hear it. You can always download the demo and play with these more. Um, but just did some uh, uh, good amount of boosting in the highs and a low shelf, um, a low roll, and, and that's about it. And we'll keep the, let's keep the... You're too imperfect to explain. You got me tied up in your games. You got me tied up in... So let's loop this section. And I'm going to turn... Uh, EQ on and off and then I'm gonna do a round of turning compressor and EQ on and off because they do have a channel which we won't dive into today but a channel where you can use all these combined you're too imperfect to explain you got me tied up in your games you're too imperfect to explain you got me tied up in your games it's a really sweet sounding tube EQ. I dig this a lot actually. This is like a good like icing on the cake kind of EQ, little color EQ. Um, and then lastly, they have the Ultramarine um, Model A, which sounds cool. I don't think it's something I'll probably use much, uh, but it's, it's the next extra feature, I guess. You're too imperfect to explain. You got me tied up in your games. You're too imperfect to explain. You got me tied up in your games. But like I said, it, it's nice. I just don't think it's something I'll end up using much, but maybe some others will find this to be their favorite EQ. That's the beautiful thing of mixing. Now, finally, the part that I wasn't 
totally impressed with is the reverb. Um, it sounds decent. Maybe it'd be better on an instrument or something. Um, but let me play it for you so you can hear it. You're too imperfect to explain. You got me tied up in your games. You're too imperfect to explain. You got me tied up in your games. You're too imperfect to explain. You got me tied up in your games. So it sounds nice. Um, there's, you're supposed to be able to use this to spread it out. When I turn this all the way up, it just goes away. And I don't know if that's just maybe I don't, I have, I have a stereo out, so I'm not quite sure. Yacht. Not quite sure what what's going wrong there, but it's a great reverb. I just, I don't know if it was necessary to really add it in this package. I mean, it's great to add extra stuff, but maybe it's a personal thing. I already have so many reverbs that I probably won't end up using that. So cool to have. And maybe some of you guys will really dig it. I'm just, I don't think I'm going to be using it much. Okay, so let's roll down the drums really quick here. Let me unsolo her. Um, this was another cool thing. So I like to use um, Fairchild's on drums, usually for parallel compression. And I thought it'd be a good test to see, uh, you know, if you could really hit this thing hard and it still sounded good. And it does. It sounds great. Um, so it's weird. They both sound really different. I compared these as well. Whoops. Um, I compared these as well. And the Ultramarine seemed to hold things together a little more. Like the UAD version, like really sound compressed. And, and, and the cool thing is, is actually I would like this sound for certain things maybe. And this sound for certain things. So let's check out the drums. Um, we'll start with the Ultramarine. So both have different sounds and, and I tried to match these. It's hard to, they're, they're different beats. And that's what's amazing about having these two different compressors because they, I'm sure they were modeled from different compressors, from different eras, from different parts. And it's like having two different Fairchilds in your studio, which is really, really freaking cool. Um, but, and the way I said, when I said I felt like this compressed a bit more, I'm gonna play it one more time before we get out of here. Um, I felt like you can the kick stays together a little more here where it's really getting slammed on this one um, and also that could you know be meters not reacting the same way who knows but let's just hear it one more time so you can understand uh, what I was talking about. So that's that. Um, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. It's it's a really cool bundle. I'm going to be using that Fairchild quite a bit, and I think I'll be using the 2BQ uh, on vocals, and, and maybe might try it on mastering a bit as well. Um, one thing I forgot to mention, big shout out to Acoustica, because they got the meters working really good on this compressor, and that's one thing they've always had issues with, is their reaction of their meters. So really glad they got that. But overall, solid product. Um, I think the compressor and the EQ, the 2BQ are where it shines, but maybe you guys will find some, you know, uh, uses for the reverb. And if any of you guys understand that, the, the, the horizon part, leave a comment below so I can try to use it. Maybe I'm, I'm getting it wrong. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you need your songs mixed and mastered, hit me up at mixandmastermysong.com. You can also check out my courses and presets there. I'll see you guys next week.